And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Mist Keeper mid range. Our first deck today. This is going to be a deck built around the card Mist Keepers. Five mana, three, four. Each round, the first time you slay a unit with a spell, you get to summon an ephemeral Mist Wraith. So that's what we're going to be trying to do is, is uh, slay units with spells, have these Mist Wraiths. So we, we have a lot of spells that slays units. We have 19 of them. You know, lots of removal here with Shadow Isles and Piltover and Zaun, including Despair that allows us to slay anything, or even Glimpse Beyond that's a spell that's slaying our own unit and we're drawing two. Now we're pairing those together with Fearsome and like these Sentinels. These Sentinels reward us for slaying units with spells and they both have Fearsome. And then Mist Wraiths, of course, have Fearsome. So we'll have those with Wraith Caller that's making more Mist Wraiths with Fearsome. And then our champions, Callista, Elise, two Fearsome champions. So basically, we're going to have Fearsome attackers, not easy to block, uh, take away the things that they can block with, with different removal spells, and then have Piltover and Zaun for Nexus damage to finish out the game with Mystic Shock, Get Excited, Aftershock. And that's going to be it. So it's going to be kind of aggressive. Um, and... You know, fear, you know, with all the fearsome, with the direct nexus damage, and hopefully we're slaying some units also, and uh, that's that's the goal of the deck. So let's give it a try, Mist Keeper mid range. We're playing it in ranked. We got three ranked decks today. Okay, Poppy Ziggs. So we just went over the balance patch changes. We just saw all the stuff that's happening there. Tomorrow we will have our new balance patch and everything. I'm gonna keep Vile Feast and Mystic Shot. I think those could both definitely be good, but I'm gonna send the Get Excited back. Now, Get Excited's really good against Poppy, so maybe I need to keep it for Poppy specifically. But it doesn't kill Ziggs. And you have to discard a card. And so that's kind of the rough part about having Get Excited early. So I am basically gonna always mulligan that card because we don't really have cards that we want to discard. So it's not something that I really want to keep. But it's a great card to have later on in the game. play Callista and just trade with Ziggs. That doesn't sound that bad, actually. Yeah, that doesn't sound that bad. Next round we'll have five mana. We can go like Sentinel plus Vile Feast. Alright, so I'm just going to slay my own Elise uh, with my Vile Feast to grow the Sentinel. And now we get to attack for six. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? Maybe I should have waited, you know, by, if I don't do that, if they play the mayor, then we get a Mystic Shot that. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. We're just doing this. Get two slays in. So their option, we could Mystic Shot the mayor. I, I want to take away their ability to continually, you know, get free mana. So we could Mystic Shot the mayor. And try to go like Mist Wraith, but I also kind of like how the Mystic Shot does direct, you know, does direct damage. Is it nap charm? Just need a second. Okay, ready. Okay, I'm not gonna block here and then let them. I will. Let them. Uh, fervor and or you know yeah pokey stick right that, that's what I meant yeah because if I block there then they get to pokey stick and kill my uh, five four I'm not gonna let that happen 
we should be able to just finish them out from here. Shouldn't have any Nexus healing or anything. I don't think they can do anything. And there we go. That's why we play PNZ spells. Just gives us a nice, easy finish of the game. And we're 1 0. Lucian Teemo. Lucian would have been a good, cool champion for them to buff. In this latest patch. Kind of thinking about just keeping everything. I don't know. It's a it's a kind of decent curve. Despair kills lots of stuff. We could send these two back though also. Hmm. Not my not my favorite cards to get. Because, you know, like, obviously we don't really have something to get... Ex we don't really have something to glimpse beyond or get excited right now. But we shall see. We'll save the two spell mana for the glimpse beyond. You know, maybe we play Sentinel on one. Nothing, like the great outdoors. Nothing on two. Sentinel on three. Wraith Caller on four. And then, like, just sacrifice the Mist Wraith or the Wraith Caller. Like, one of the two. How would I buff Lucian? Uh, maybe make it so it's only three to level up instead of four? That's the one thing I can kind of think of. So Despair, the unit does strike your Nexus, so like they do, like if I Despair Teemo, I'll get five pop caps. Soldiers, me. That card should be a 3-4. Man, I don't know what to do here. I don't really want either of these to block the Vanguard Sergeant, but I, do I really want to just take all that damage? <laughs> I could see me discard despair to get excited. It's looking like we're not going to be casting despair this game. Nagakabura sends her blessing. Not a bad pass. That worked out pretty well. From all the regions, we are one. Man, this hand's pretty fearsome. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's take it for a spin. <sighs> Attacking with Callista? No, probably not. Probably not. Take the wheel. You will not prevail. One mana three two is nice. Meet them head on. One mana three two plus create a card in hand. <laughs> That's pretty nice. All right, so let's put them down to eight. I don't think we shoot. I was, you know, trying to think, do we shoot the mayor? I don't, I don't think we shoot the mayor. Get excited. Because, you know, now I'm at, like, the spot where Despair is looking pretty good again. 
I can glimpse beyond, you know, one of these mist wraiths. And then level up Callista, but it doesn't seem too necessary. I'll just get rid of that. Car could have been a waste. Yeah, definitely a waste. Really wish I had Glimpse Beyond. Alright, that was that was a big waste. Two mana. Alright, so one of these cards is a landmark. That's a great draw. I know what lurks in the shadows. Alright, line up you little trumpets. Okay, right now they can't block any of the seven. Yeah, it's kind of double checking that, making sure that despair didn't. Uh, oh, I should probably just let this all happen. I want to glimpse beyond. I, if they had something, they're probably not going to then use a removal spell on these. So they're at one. Sing with the darkness in your heart. Get excited probably wins this game. Well, I did say I wanted to see the world. Probably. A tribute to the spider god. Only two cards. I'm giving them opportunity to spend their mana. Yeah, I know. Poor Badger Bear now. Alright, cool. That'll do. Another get excited for the win. 2-0. These are our deck, though. Like, they couldn't block the Fearsomes with our 2-1 and 2-2. And so you just get Fearsome, get a lot of damage in, and then Burn Spell. Alright, back to another Burn deck. Poppy Ziggs. We had a good showing last time against Poppy Ziggs. Okay. So am I going to just not have anything on one and then like Mystic Shot, Sentinel, Wraith Caller? Oh, hey, this is Luck. Big time viewer of the stream. Real nice guy. This is Nathan. I guess that's my, my plan is just these three. They could be a little too slow. We shall see. Okay, okay. I have my orders. This will shake him. Well, we got two mana removal spells. I would prefer to be able to play the Sentinel first, of course. If possible. Trust me! I know what I'm doing! So the Sentinel just trades with Ziggs with it attacking. Could take it. And then I have a 5 4 attacking back at him. So if we block, we're at 16. If we don't block, we're at 13. And then we have a 5 4. Tough call. No. That's honestly a really tough call. I guess I'm gonna block. You know. 
goddamn wait to see what this one does. <laughs> okay, so worst case scenario. So block really did not work out. We didn't get the 1-1. One, one. Not looking great. Withering Mist and Despair basically have the same art. I didn't really realize that. Alright, scared of Poppy. So, you know, it was a good spot for Withering Mist, but I'm scared of Poppy. So I don't have removal for Poppy still available. Still at 13. Not too, too bad. There's nothing to fear. Let's go! Grab my hat! Comb my mustache! We, we shall not rest until all the traitors We're playing against Nathan. He's a big time supporter of the stream. Trust is, is a weapon. Go, good guy. Shall we bully off? All right, so that's two for Callista. This requires my largest official hat. All right, get rid of both of these. Man, so many fervors. Is it nap time? So that second fervor, second pokey stick. Yeah, second fervor, second pokey stick. Let's me get Pokey sticked again. Oh, it's kind of burned deck. Can't just take all the damage. Hope there's no more Pokey sticks. Yeah. Figured there was. All right. So it's the last one of those. Card advantage in Vandal. Come closer. I don't bite. Stagger, stagger. Up, up. I don't even know if like this is that great of a play. Or I should just be waiting on it, maybe. Explosives prime. Not fantastic. Yeah, it's the the worst draw in our deck. The third fervor. Ugh. So three fervors, three. Three fervors, three pokey sticks. Yeah, 
cast her off. So obviously it decimates the problem with going down to four. Alright, so basically my opponent just has one more card than I do in hand. You know, these two cards just trade. And so we're left with... All right, so that's the third Vandal City Mayor. My is peace granted? Or is it earned? A hero stands, you sit before you. So that's lethal. Bobby, might the hero be well, it was lethal if they attacked. Huh? Maybe not anymore. So, let me know if you find him. Open attack was definitely lethal. Now, answer pain with mercy. Oh, cause they got. Oh, they got. Hmm. I guess it's still lethal now. Yeah, I guess it's still lethal. I guess because these different impacts and stuff. The soul cries out. Yep. Alright, so we lost the matchup this time. I don't think that's a bad matchup. I think my opponent was pretty fortunate with their cards. I'm happy to keep playing this matchup. Because, yeah, I don't think they'll have triple fervor, triple pokey stick, triple mayor. Every time. Alright, so again, that one's gone. Withering Mist is a little expensive. I, I want to keep Mist Keepers, but I think that, you know, this is an aggressive deck, aggressive matchup. I think we got to have earlier stuff. We don't, didn't have anything earlier right then. Possible I should be waiting until round two to play this so that then we can enable the Nightfall for the Unspeakable Horror, but the reason not to do that is if we want to just keep curving out with our units and then play, you know, this, Elise, Callista. Obviously, we get to attack for one on round one with it also. So if we want to just curve out with our four units, we want to play it on one. If we're expecting to play Elise on two, we want to do that. Um. So the problem with playing the Callista right here is Ziggs. Because then if they go Ziggs, it's the only card that was the problem. If I go Wraith Caller, Wraith Caller can block Poppy, but then it makes Ziggs and Stone Stackers a lot more, you know, like a lot more troublesome. We're just gonna get rid of this Poppy. Oh, I love that they, yeah, that they're gonna be balancing the meta more in the future. I love that. I, I, I think that that's just exciting. I think that they. That uh, it'd be really nice to have like monthly balance patch changes, even even with you know healthy meta games. You want you don't want healthy meta games to become stale, and I think that's what has happened. So very glad you know uh, overall really you know just like that they're switching things up with the balance patch. Um, I think that Targon looks like the big winner, and dragons in particular. I think that there's going to uh, Targons and dragons look very strong moving forward. Glad that things are getting switched up. People remember that Loping Telescope is a Targon card. Trade Callista for Ziggs or not? Light is a lure in the dark. 
could kind of see just attacking out with everything, and they can block one thing with Ziggs, and, you know, even though they could block, like, Elise, for example. It's a lot of other fearsome damage coming in. Okay, so the easy play is to now Unspeakable Horror, and I did an Unspeakable Horror in response. Because then we wouldn't have the Unspeakable Horror slay, but you know now we do. But then them doing that is kind of saying, hey, I have another Noxion Fervor. They want me to Unspeakable Horror, and they're going to Noxion Fervor again. <sighs> These Noxion Fervors have been crazy. But I guess if they do that, if they Noxion Fervor again, we still have... Assuming they kill Elise, we'd still have six Fearsome. But actually, they may kill the, the Buru Sentinel, and then we'd have five Fearsome. And that would also get rid of two... <laughs> Probably, actually, they probably killed a Sentinel. That gets rid of two Fervors from their hand, which is half my Nexus. Ooh, they do not. Whoa, that's a surprise. Another day, another explosion. Okay, another Ziggs. By her will. <laughs> that, yeah, that's actually fine. All right, we'll send them all in. Luck, thanks to that Risa for one year. I appreciate it. I don't I don't have a deck right now. Luck, what was your last donation deck? I don't have one written down on my donation deck sheet. Do you have a donation deck that I haven't played recently? So young. I don't have one written down right now. It only does two to my Nexus. I didn't do the Mystic Shot at the same time because I was, again, you know, kind of thinking about Noxion Fervor. Oh, we missed. Alright, so we have one of our. Four or five Piltover and Zong cards left. Me, 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 me. Uh, that's unfortunate. Let's go. Grab my hat. Come so obviously these things just, you know, getting... That would have been an additional four power. You know, would have been a three-two fearsome, and then this thing be a three-two fearsome also. I don't know why I'm not attacking with the four-three. I should definitely be attacking with the four-three also. There's not any reason not to attack with that. But yeah, that's you know that they're down at two. If we if we hit this wraith caller, they're at two. And then you know, obviously I have a doom beast. But all right, get excited. Hey, Royal Spirit. Yes, I was playing Garen Poppy for the for the for tournament practice. The tournament was last weekend or the weekend before. One of those two. Move or cease. Ah, fearless. But yeah, I I ended up um, I ended up actually not qualifying though. I didn't quite get there. The I had enough um, points in Masters rank to qualify, but then the last day of practice, I lost a whole lot and lost my points and uh, was not qualified after that. It's looking like my opponent stabilized. Man, I really wish we didn't miss that Wraith Caller. Demacia sends its regards. Oh, they have the three four also. Brother, Come on. 
world is positively uppity downity, brother. It's gonna be nice having Tenor of Terror nerfed. We have seen a whole lot of Tenor of Terror. Today. That'll be nice to have that card nerfed. You said there's no reason not to. Well, I want to keep a fearsome thing alive to try to get a point of damage to fearsome in. You said there's no reason not to. I'm gonna need a card to discard to get excited. I do have to protect against. I can't really play Callista right now. I do have to kind of protect against Fervor. Decimate. I guess that's it. That Get Excited was in the one wrong space. It's been all Shadow Isle cards like before and after. Us missing that Wraith Caller. That's how it goes with the Allegiance cards, I guess. Where's my axe? We, we shall not rest until all betrayers For the Empire. They don't break, they'll burn. Okay, same deck, basically. Just change out the champions. Let's see if we can get there this time. Let's send that back and again keep two, three, four. It is good that we do have the attack token on round two with the Elise. Yep, that last one. If we, if we hit the Allegiance, we win. We missed it. We lost. One of those. And I think that the first one, the you know, blocking with the Sentinel on the round three is a tough choice, but that cost me that first one. But obviously all the millions of uh, Noxian Fervors also lost. Very good. That was that's what I was hoping they would do with that prank. Because I don't want to play Get Excited for a long time anyway. I don't really care if that costs three or five mana. That's no big deal. So very happy about that. I don't really want to trade with Pokey Stick. By her will. All right, so I glimpse from beyond they Pokey Stick. That doesn't sound fantastic. I want to attack right away. Um, let's see. To the spider okay. I was gonna see if they pokey stick their own thing in response and then I you know to unlock glimpse beyond for me. Yeah, a mist callers would be nice. We haven't we we saw two mist callers or the uh Mist Keepers. Sorry. Sorry, yeah, they're on card. Mist Keepers. We had two Mist Keepers in uh, in our openers, but we did send them back. This is the only cost five. It would be nice to find some more. It's kind of unfortunate that the name of the deck and haven't had a single one during a game. Sing with the darkness in your heart. 
All right, we hit. We got seven points of nexus damage right now. So they kill the 5 1. I guess I do this. And then we open attack next round. You'll serve me one way or another. One way or another. You will serve me. Because I'm your spider queen, Elise. I have to have a parlay. Another thing that does one damage. But still, why, why don't they kill the 4-1 and the 5-1? They're really that scared of Elise leveling up, I guess? Yeah, that was not good for them. Mistkeepers! I got Pokey Stick. Maybe I shouldn't be open attacking. Maybe I should have played the Wraith Caller first. So I play Wraith Caller, they play Tenor Terror. Yeah, it's not that bad. And then they Pokey Stick. I don't know. Quiet, please. Wow, taking all that? Man, they you can't just take all that. <laughs> they they had to kill my 5-1. They messed up with, like, they had the one Poison Dart just hit the Nexus for no reason. Like, they should have hit the Sentinel with that one, because they had a 3-5 and mine was a 5-4. And then, of course, they had the other one hit the Spider, the other Poison Dart hit, kill the Spiderling. So, one of those two Poison Darts have to, had to deal damage to the Sentinel, or basically both of them should have. We'll just play this Get Excited they know about. We did finish, like, every game with Get Excited. And there we go for Mist Keeper Midrange. Uh, kind of a disappointing 3-2, which shows that you got a good deck here. Because I think that both of our losses were a little disappointing. And I, I think our deck felt really good. We we did play basically the same kind of deck all five times. We played against five Bandal City decks, five Stone Stacker decks. So we didn't really get the variety that you do a lot of the other times. Uh, so that's also unfortunate, but I think that we we showed that our deck did look good in those matchups. You know, winning three out of five, sixty percent, can't complain about that. And really having um, some poor variance in our losses. The only unfortunate thing here was the missed keepers. I think it could be cool, but we just <laughs> didn't have it in any game. We did draw it the last game, like the the turn that we basically the turn that we killed our opponent. Um, but, you know, we just didn't have it, you know, and so didn't get to show it off whenever it was like the whole thing was let's build a Mist Keepers deck. And then <laughs> we had it in two games in our opener, but it's, it's a five cost card and we're playing against, you know, Stone Stacker, like aggressive deck. So we have to mulligan it, but we didn't redraw it uh, to ever get to play the card. So didn't get to see how cool it would be. And that's just unfortunate. That's just how life is. All right, but that's it for Mist Keeper Midrange. Uh, good looking deck though, you know, like I, I think the fearsome cards, like these Sentinels really perform well, Elise, Callista, you know, like you have these different, all these fearsome cards with just good removal, right? You, you kill their things. Fearsome's good against Bandle City because they have a lot of 2-2s. Um, I liked it. I kind of, I liked having like Despair kill, you know, kill their big thing for just four mana, just four mana Vengeance, and then, you know, still keep on attacking in and being able to outrace people because of fearsome damage and burn spells. Get Excited was good for us. Almost all the time finishing games, except for the one time that it lost us the game being Wraith Caller. But that'll, you know, uh, losing the allegiance to Wraith Caller, but that'll happen. All right, but that's going to be it here for Mist Keeper Mid Range. So, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Also, we got the brand new balance patch. Let me know what you think of those changes and stuff. What kind of decks y'all want me to see playing uh, first day tomorrow with that. But that's going to be it for this video. So, thank you so much for watching. 
and I'll see you for the next one.